Title, Trader Joe's Rocks Their Menu, Falafel Surprise Inside. TL, DR, Trader Joe's puts a rocking spin on their falafel. Watch out for some unexpected crunchy bits in your next bite. Looking for an edgy, crunchy twist to your favorite Middle Eastern snack? Look no further. But wait, is this a new culinary delight or just a mishap? Let's deep dive. Trader Joe's, the supermarket chain we've come to adore for their quirky products and Hawaiian shirt-clad employees, recently issued a recall on their fully cooked falafel product. Why, you ask? Apparently, some of these delicious chickpea balls might just have a dash of, well, rock. Yup, actual rocks. For those keeping track, this is the third time in a single week that Trader Joe's has had to issue a recall. So, if you thought your week was rough, think again. What's intriguing here is that this rock-infused falafel made its way to stores across 34 states and even Washington, D.C. before the issue was flagged. Makes you wonder, were people just enjoying an extra crunchy falafel experience without realizing it? Luckily, Trader Joe stepped up and announced that any unsold boxes of this particular falafel have been destroyed. Still, what's up with these recalls? Are they trying to make geology part of our daily diet, or is this just a slippery slope of unforeseen challenges? Now, taking a moment here. I've always thought falafel was the bomb, but I never meant that quite so literally. Think about it. A quiet, evening, your favorite TV show on, you dip a piece of falafel into some hummus, take a bite, and, crunch. Talk about a surprise inside. But, on a more serious note, can you imagine Aunt Marge, who's been raving about her new love for Middle Eastern food, biting into a stone-hard falafel during Sunday's family brunch? Awkward much? For the adventurous souls among us, maybe this would have been a selling point. After all, we've seen chocolate with chili, ice cream with lobster, and now, falafel with rocks. Disclaimer, this report is for informational purposes only. It does not constitute any type of advice regarding food safety, health, or investments. Question for the masses, would you take a risk on a rock and roll falafel, or is this one culinary experience you'd rather skip?